Messi, and they get to the line. Zoli's got there. For me, it probably started when uh, I joined Banner Rugby Club, which would have been my local rugby club, at the age of eight. Um, that was proper to join, that I was training when I was probably six, five or six, trying to join in with the under eights. Um, so probably started playing properly under eight and then played with Banner Rugby Club right up until I was 18. Um, but in the meantime, joined, uh, went to school in Banner Grammar. Um, and I was playing club and school because Banner Grammar was a B school then, um, right up until I was 18. And then in my final year of school, Banner Grammar went to A. Um, so then I had to make a decision and I decided to play with school for my final year. In the meantime then I was kind of in and out of Munster squads um, right from cadets which was under 16s up until under 18 squads. Um, never quite made my mark on, on those teams so I was kind of always on the peripheral um, but that probably gave me something a bit more to you know ask questions as to why and how I can get there. Um, and fortunately then pushing forward up into uh, Senior Cup. Uh, our school went quite well in that, we got to the semi-final. Um, and then that coming March I got my first chance to, to represent Ireland, um, fortunately with the under-19s when we went to Corsica. Um, and that just kind of really gave me a taste of, of what it really was like to play uh, high-level rugby. Um, and from that moment forward I knew that I wanted to wanted to try and see how high I could go and how far I could reach in, in the sport. It was probably the first time that I got properly tested as to serious opposition, the damage they could do to you if you, if you slipped up. So, you know, margin for error was really there. Um, you had to do things, you had to react quicker, you had to make decisions quicker. Your skill level had to be a lot better. Um, and that was kind of just the opening up for me of you know the recognition that I had to work on my game a lot. You know I had a lot of natural skills, but they could only take you so far. And that was kind of the point when I went into twenties, realised that I had a, a lot of work to do if I really wanted to to make something out of this career. I just remember being in the backfield and then Dave McCann slapped the ball back, um, and then yeah, I just I remember the defender coming at me tie five, uh, I think it was a prop and I said I'm going to try and step him and see what happens and then all of a sudden I was almost in shock when I was in space. But uh, yeah, I've been living off that try for long enough, so I need to get rid of, need to get another one or try something different because uh, it's my only claim to fame at the moment. <laughs> It was, uh, it was kind of surreal because like, I suppose when you're in rugby you're always anticipating the next step, like the next step you want to go to. So when it happens for you, you kind of, you've been living with that expectation that you want to play with Munster and you want to play with Ireland. So when it happens, you're kind of like, right now it's just time to go to business and, and do the work. And sometimes you need to, need to just take a step back and realise you know, that you actually just made your debut for the team that you um, had dreamt about playing for. Watching Munster play in the Heineken Cup was something that like, it kind of almost gave you just the chills, like just watching the singing, um, Fields of Atten Roy and everything be blared out. It was just, you know, it was something incredibly special. And particularly I heard a lot about the history of, of going to cast. You know, it's, it's not a place that many teams go in and come away from something successful. Even talking to French teams that go there, they don't come away with many wins, so we knew how difficult it was going to be going over there. Um, but to me, it's kind of like I, like I said, it, when you're in that environment, you've got a job to do, and you kind of got to nil out the the noise of you know the bands playing there and stuff, and you you kind of got to embrace it, otherwise it's going to get to. You. Um, so for me, it was almost like the preparation for the week or two before that was you know whether it be headphones on when you're kicking with the drums playing and stuff, and just kind of preparing yourself for that loud noise and the band and the marching band and the trumpets and everything and, and kind of more embrace the situation. For me, my job, was, my job was pretty easy because you've got lads around you um, that each have such a responsibility and they have such accountability, every single player in the squad, to know their roles and know their detail. 
So as a 10, when you step out into the pitch and you know that the fellas left and right of you all know their role and all know their detail and you can just fit into the system um, without having to worry about what other fellas are doing or what they might be doing wrong. You know, and I think that's a credit to both the staff for getting us to that level. Within seven days, lads were already making connections and, and playing as if we're a team that's been together for a couple of months. I probably, you know, if you asked me a year or two ago uh, what I wanted, I, I would have probably said big, big plans, you know, of where I want to go and where I want to be. Um, but something I've learned is that it's probably a downfall of mine as being almost too ambitious. I know that's probably a thing that you can't, can't really say you're too ambitious because, but for me it was like I was almost focusing too much on, on the future. Um, and now I'm literally trying to take a game at a, a game at a time. So whether it's here in Emerging Ireland playing against the Greekas or you know when I go back to Munster or whatever, it's whatever is in front of me. And I think that's been my focus from the start of the season. You know whether it's the pre-season games, just taking one game at a time, and you know then reviewing that game and then seeing how I can get better in the next one, and, and kind of letting fate almost take take the rest of it. Because I think sometimes. It's a tough game, rugby is. So, like, if you focus too much on certain outcomes that are completely out of your control, sometimes you can get carried away with that and, and focus on just doing your role and trying to be better every day. So, for me, you know, I know that there's so much work ons I have um, still in terms of you know my skills, passing, kicking, tackling, scanning, vision, everything like that um, can be so much better. And, and for me, that's every day trying to get better at them and, and hopefully that'll take me to a place I want to go.